Yeah, I can't wait. Um, I was, got injured last year uh, with country, so I missed out on most of the season. And um, again this year, so I'm looking forward to donning that jersey again. Yeah, NRC was huge for me um, as a development pathway. It um, enabled me to get my first crack at um, real high-level footy. Um, and it shows me, it ended up getting me on the spring tour with the Wallabies in 2017. Um, so it really shows people are watching. Um, you know, uh, it also teaches you how to be quite uh, driven if you want to get there. It shows you what's required in terms of um, you know, diet, training, all those extras and stuff because you're, you're learning from those guys who've been there and done it and uh, cracked that Reds and Wallabies. Uh, you know, we had guys like James Slipper there last year. Um, so it's awesome that mix of boys, you know, up and comers, um, guys who are trying to crack it and um, guys who've been there and done that. So uh, it's an awesome uh, level to play at. Um, the foot is still really good quality and um, you have a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, I'll try and um, put in my two cents every now and then at training. Uh, make sure that if I see anything that we can, can work on and stuff that I've learnt from um, those guys up at Wallabies camp that um, I'll try and make use of it and, and just be a voice around the, around the, the paddock. Um, off the, on the game this weekend, I'm not going to try and overplay my hand too much. Just bring a lot of enthusiasm and, and energy off the bench and try and lift our guys, which we'll need in that last half hour there in Fiji with the weather. Um, it's going to drain us, so just try and bring that spark. Um, but otherwise, the boys here are, are doing a really good job. Youngie's leading the team really well. You've got a good core of of guys that have been through this pathway and then cracked the Reds now, so Blythe, uh, Hoopert, Hammer, all those guys, Hocko. So they're doing really well as this core of this Queensland country team at the moment and um, bringing everyone along with them. Yeah, Fiji's a tough challenge. Um, heading over there, uh, it just brings another element. Uh, the weather is just ends up being sticky football, you know, hot, humid, um, and it's really a game of, game of survivor, who can outlast who. Um, they can sort of play anyway. They um, got us in the final last year playing quite tight, relying on their scrum set uh, and picking going through the middle, which probably isn't what you're used to. You're used to expansive Fijian football. So uh, they've shown they've got a few different skills up there, up their sleeves. So um, don't know what we're in for, but it's going to be a big one this weekend. Yeah, this match, uh, much like the last two we've played, is sort of make or break. We didn't quite get off to the start of the season like we wanted to, and we let a few games slip. So. Uh, this weekend, essentially, win you're in, lose you're out. So uh, not much more needs to be said. We've got to win it.